Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing well. So I have a Dollarama haul for you today and then I'm going to film a Dollar Tree haul. I like to separate them. I have quite a few items from Dollarama that I was really happy to find that I think some of you had already been finding them for weeks or even months and I kind of came upon it or stumbled upon it uh, by accident. So I have a little story to go with that and then uh, yeah, we'll get right into the haul. So I wanted to let you guys know that I purchased, these ones here are still quite available at most of the Dollaramas. This is the wet brush. They range, sometimes you'll see them for $25 at a hair salon. This is the original detangler. The reason I actually purchased it, I never even hauled this with you guys, was because my daughter immediately used it. It's the Wet Brush Pro, and it's the Pro Detangler. And this one I shared with you guys in a video, it was a turquoise one. It works so beautifully in her hair. She's got super curly ringlets and um, they tangle up really, really badly. So we've always been battling with her hair for years. And once she put this through her hair, she said, Mom, where has this brush been all my life? She was so excited that it was brushing. So I immediately went um, on a hunt and went to look for one more of these because it was working so well. But unfortunately, I couldn't find this one any longer. It was all sold out. But I did find this one. So I'm hoping that it works just the same. We did feel the bristles. They were a little bit different, but... Um, if it doesn't work for her, at least I know it, it's a nice brush for myself too. And this is the Wet uh, wet Brush. The, uh, the company is wetbrush.com. So these were $4 a piece, which is still a great buy because even if you wanted to buy them at Walmart, I guarantee you they won't be $4. This haul actually has quite a few interesting things. I don't typically ever buy their knife sets, but I couldn't pass up these here. So these were $4 a piece. They are made by the company, is it Farber, Farberware? I'm not quite um, sure how to pronounce it, but it is a brand name company. So these are like a iridescent rainbow effect nails. They are, I believe this one here is, are they ceramic? This one is ceramic and I currently have a ceramic knife in my kitchen and it is one of my absolute favorite knives. However, it has a chip. Um, we banged it on the counter and it did break. So I'm hoping if this one holds up to the same um, standard that the one I have in my kitchen and I currently absolutely love it, I hope I can just replace it and throw the other one out because it does have a chip and that can be dangerous. Now, the kids don't touch that knife but it still is dangerous. It's a, it's kind of similar in shape to this one here. But anyways, has anyone purchased these? Have you tried them? If you have, please let me know. Are they good? This one here doesn't tell me if it's ceramic, does it? I'm not sure, but this one I hope works really well. And it looks like it's just a white knife, which is interesting. I've never owned a white knife. All my knives are usually just a regular steel color, right? I purchased some waffle cones to go with. Um, I went to Costco recently and I actually was planning to do a little shop with me in there. If you guys are, like those types of videos, please let me know. Um, I, go to shop, I go to Costco every few weeks and they always have something new there. Anyways, I was going to film it and then I was going to film my haul and I, I didn't. I just got home and put things away because we know when we buy things at Costco, some things need to do, just be separated and put in the freezer right away. So I just never got around to, to filming my haul. If you guys are ever interested in that, please let me know down below if that's something that you like to watch and maybe I'll take some time next time to film that stuff. Anyways, I bought the Kawartha's ice cream uh, there. It's a big giant tub and I think it's $6.99. It's the creamy vanilla uh, vanilla ice cream I believe mix of like little Reese's well it's not Reese's pieces because you can't they don't have it but it's peanut butter filled chocolate cups like little mini ones and some other fun nuts in there oh my gosh I am so looking forward to scooping some up as a treat and putting in one of these waffle cones and I have purchased these in the past and they're really really good so these are $1.25 and they're 12 in here and and at the grocery store, these tend to disappear kind of around this time of year because it's no longer in season. So I don't always find waffle cones. Do you guys normally find waffle cones um, in the fall? It is quite gloomy here today. So I tried to work on the lighting to make sure that everything kind of appears on screen. Um, I'd love some feedback to let me know if you guys are getting a terrible glare or if it's coming through. I um, 
showed with you, uh, shared with you guys in a shop with me a ton of pillowcases. So typically you'll find two pillowcases for $3 and they have flannel and then they have the regular, um, just the standard material cotton, I guess, right? And actually this is 50% cotton, 50% polyester, which is not my favorite. I prefer 100% cotton. But I just thought the print was super cute for my daughter's room. She's got some really nice light pink sheets and some different pale colors so I thought they would be nice for her bedroom and I just thought I'd open them up here on camera yeah it's just a pretty little floral it's very simple I'll put them in the wash and put them in her room and again they had some really cute flannel ones with little bears uh, woodland characters oh my gosh I saw the prettiest ones for a baby's room I had little elephant prints I almost bought them for myself and then I had told back and said no also wanted to let you guys know that they have this new line I don't know where it's been discontinued from it's called Con cotton concepts and this is the, the logo that you'll see they have been starting to get a ton of area rugs table runners and little kitchen towels like this so I want to let you know because I'm a deal shopper and you guys probably have picked up on that over the years if you've been following me. Um, I'm just going to go get some water. I'll be right back. Sorry about that. I've been noticing lately that I am so dehydrated and I keep drinking water and I just completely feel dehydrated, especially in like my mouth. And... I'm not sure what's going on because I normally I'm not a big drinker and I am constantly now like filling up a big giant bottle of water like this is what oh 750 mils like I'll easily chug chug this back two or three of them like within an hour I don't know what's going on okay so back to my little kitchen towel um, little rant so oh cotton concepts so if you have access to your dollar store with more the same kitchen towels are available there for one dollar so these I purchased for $1. I don't know if you can see them. See the little tag there? And at Dollarama, the exact same ones are selling for $2. So I actually bought some for a little gifts for Christmas because I'll just put together. I have um, purchased those beautiful bath bombs and the Mr. Bubble set and stuff like that from Dollar Tree. And I always add extra bonuses upon bonuses. That's why I love shopping at the Dollar Tree and stuff because then I gather things and I make the basket even grander so I'm thinking I'm gonna use uh, some of the little kitchen towels and stuff to go through to put through in those little baskets so for the price of two I for the price of one I got two at your dollar store with more and they had these ones as well and Dollarama is currently carrying these for two dollars a piece so that's quite a bit of savings because for four dollars I got four what a great savings because for two dollars for eight dollars I would have spent a Dollarama I spent half the amount and only spent four dollars and I have some little gifts to put to the side um, however just wanted to let you know then they have the open concepts bigger packages at your dollar store with more and I think they're running for six dollars so it really depends on how you want um, if you need a good value for your home or if you're looking to do gifts if you're doing gifts you need a tag right so you need a little tag to say hey this is new um, and if you buy a big giant set which is a great value because they do have a ton a, a whole bunch of towels all in one package there's only one tag so then I don't feel very confident or comfortable taking that tag off separating the bundle and packaging that up into gift baskets but to each their own I have no problem receiving something without a tag so it's just that my comfort level is I like to have a tag when I gift something to someone oh I bought an artist canvas as well and these are just to, they're four dollars and they're just I want to do something super cute that I was actually I think I'm, I've been inspired from a visit to Michael's but I think I want to copy it and I don't want to pay I forget what their price was I think forty dollars even if I could get it on for half price I think I can make something very very similar here at home for you know, maybe a quarter of the price so I'm gonna well yeah maybe because this is four dollars uh, by the time I've spent a little bit on it something the time I finish it, it'll probably cost me $7. So we'll see how it, how it goes. I plan on doing it and sharing it on the channel. I got a, um, as seen on TV, wash and wax sponge for $2. Uh, the weather has really, oh, this is made in USA. I didn't know that. 
I was planning on doing a store like a nice car cleaning of my vehicle before the weather changes and gets super cold here but I just haven't gotten to it so hopefully the weather holds up for a couple more weeks and I get a nice deep cleaning of my vehicle oh my goodness so in my uh, Facebook group somebody I don't remember who it was um, so I can't give credit I apologize had somebody had asked what do you guys use on your craft carts to store items on? And I typically use the little white containers that you find at Ikea that are what, 99 cents? And you just hang them, and they hang like just with this thingy on the side of your uh, craft cart. And somebody posted a picture which was super creative. This is $3.50, it's the kitchen storage over, over the cabinets, the kitchen storage, because it has like this opening here, a hook. And it even has an anti-slip, which is really well designed. And she put this hanging over her cart and I thought, oh my goodness, what a game changer for me because I live off my craft cart. It sits next to me anytime I'm, I was just actually in my craft room, my hands were all painted white. Actually, I think I still have some on my nails. And I live off of my cart, like all my accessories and supplies are there. So I'm thinking, this is huge. What a nice opening. You can even fit paper. Like say for example, okay, my cardstock paper is a little bit too big from Dollarama. These are the, um, this is not a, your standard size. Let me see what else I have here. But anyways, I think you get my point, but you can fit paper in here. Does it tell you the size opening? Or you can put like glues and, oh my goodness punches, whatever you need to organize your life on your cart, this is going to change my life, I know it. The little things in life, right? Okay, so I'm putting together a package for a friend in the United States and I need a little feedback. If you want to provide some, I would appreciate it. Oh, these are for Bear. Typically don't buy milk bone for him. Um, he's very picky with his treats. I usually only buy, I only buy him the liver treats the 100% liver treats. He has been being a little snot and not taking them any time, like all the time. So when I need to like really, really need to convince him to do something or follow through on something that he needs to do because he has a mind of his own, um, I'm wondering if this might do the trick because he does like chicken. Uh, so anyways, these I think were $2 and Milk Bone is uh, a well-known brand like they're not a a they're not a Dollarama store brand they're actually out there for at the pet stores and stuff okay so talking about sending some goodies to the US do they have does anyone know have Intel into this stuff I'm trying to put together like some treats and stuff to go with the, the package that I have so I was thinking of sending a Mr. Big these are 82 cents at Dollarama uh, Wonder Bar. These are like some of my favorite chocolate bars and when I read online that they didn't have access to them in the United States I said oh my god those are my favorite treats. How could they not have them? And Glossettes, the actual Glossette brand they do not have. They have covered raisins, chocolate covered raisins but they don't have this brand here. So if somebody wants to confirm or if you have any information on other treats I did purchase some Maynard's fuzzy peaches and some of the Swedish berries. So that will be um, part of a Dollar Tree haul actually. I caved and I purchased these and I'm really happy I did because I, I haven't seen them at most of the Dollaramas, only this one that I went to. So these are little tiny clear acrylics, they're pumpkins. And the nice thing is if you don't need them in this color, you can paint them or spray paint them to suit whatever you need. But these are perfect for little fairy gardens or if you do like a little staging of a home or a haunted house, a little pumpkin like this would do the trick. I also um, sometimes take pictures of my pocket letters or uh, Instagram like paper crafting and stuff and I just thought these were super cute for staging. So if you need to put little trinkets out on your picture, um, or to, for your picture that these would be fun. So these ones are the little bones and they're $1.50 or you can use them as vase filler. So if you have those clear vases from Dollar Tree and you wanted to fill them up with little bones, you could and put a candle on top or whatever you want to do. And then there were the little spiders. And again, for me, I'm not sure. I might just put them on the side there for you guys to see them out, but I just think they're really cute if you're staging a picture and stuff like that. Or you can use them in your, to, um, a, no, I don't think so because they don't have little holes. I was going to say you can use them as little charms to hang off 
and make trinkets, but I don't think it works. Oh, and these are some of my favorite cleansing wipes in my craft room. Uh, they're $1.25, and when I'm working with acrylic paints, and I always have like a rag on me, but sometimes if I, I like to have like a quick wipe down of the acrylic paints and stuff, these work really nicely. And there's 25 wipes for $1.25. Okay, do you want a story? I don't know if I should share the story. It's a little bit personal. Um, I haven't been wearing my wedding bands for the last few weeks. Um, just because metal and trying to keep my hands super clean, but also I've been finding that when I use certain, um, gel, what is it called, uh, sanitizers, I'm breaking out in like an eczema rash and it's the itchiest thing ever and I, it's so uncomfortable and I don't like it, so I find not wearing my wedding, my rings has helped quite a bit with the flare-ups. So that's a personal thing for me and I don't know if it's, caused um I don't know if as a female I'm not sure maybe I'm just overthinking it or whatever but it's almost not fair um that I have to have a wedding band on to say that I'm not available so I was at Dollarama and oh my goodness I'm like kind of getting nervous even sharing this information but it's been happening a little bit where uh people are wanting conversation which is totally fine and i don't have a problem with that because i know that it's been really weird times for a lot of people so oh my goodness this is a little bit personal and i don't want it to be taken the wrong way but anyways it starts off with this <laughs> um i'm looking at the maxwell house coffee and because it, the little bags are at Dollar Tree for $1.25 and I was noticing that they were $1.75 at Dollarama. So I was just kind of like examining all the goodies that were on the shelf and a gentleman came down the aisle and was kind of like hovering over me and I was taking my time because I was like taking in the information on what was going on and he wasn't leaving my space or giving me any personal space. So I kind of like started walking so he started following me and you can kind of tell when you're being followed around the store um and so he starts speaking to me about i don't know what it was like water or something on this on the shelf and um he immediately asks me what my nationality was and i'm wearing a mask so literally you can like see my eyes and my hair is pretty much probably in a messy bun so i said well, i'm portuguese and he's like, oh, okay, well, and then he told me a little bit about himself. Oh, I'm Iranian, blah, blah, blah. You look a lot like my cousin. And um, and I said, okay, well, you know, like, well, I don't know what to, like, really say. So he's, like, hovering around me, and I'm trying to just skadoodle. So I start walking down the next aisle, and he's still kind of following me through the next aisle, pretending he's looking at, um, I think he was looking at toothpaste, and I actually was looking at the scarves because there were some really cute things there. So I started picking up this scarf here. Um, knitted scarf is $4 and this is like almost like a pulling on like a blush pink but not as soft as this one. So this one's a little bit different. So he sees me pulling these out and he's like, oh, those are really nice. Those are gonna look beautiful on you. And he's like totally trying to hit up some conversation with me and like complimenting me and I said thank you and then I was like okay I'm out of this aisle and I went to the next aisle because I was starting to get a bit uncomfortable so now there are I don't know if I'm overthinking it there's one man walking and okay so when I go to Dollar Tree or Dollarama not to be biased or anything because men definitely shop at these stores but usually there's either almost nobody because I usually go when it's pretty quiet or um it's usually females so for me this was like I don't know my a little antenna I were going so there's a man walking back and forth along the back aisles on his phone and he's following me around the store so I'm starting to get a bit shaky and it's pretty clear that I'm uncomfortable anyways he straight out comes out to me and he's like can I do you have your do you have Instagram and I I was like um sorry so then I was kind of like taking it back does he recognize me from social media does he does he know who I am and I don't know who he is and so I kind of just looked at him and uh, he's like is there a way I can contact you and I said oh no I'm sorry I'm married and I have children I'm not interested in having contact right and I was kind of like 
nice, but I shouldn't have even had to explain myself, I feel like. And he's like, oh, you're married. Um, and got like a little bit upset with me. And I'm like, yes, I'm married. With, I'm married. I'm, yes, I'm married. I said like kind of got a bit um, thing. And he's like, well, you don't have a wedding band on. He maybe should have done that. And I'm like, excuse, like, excuse me. Like I was so taken aback. I'm like, that's my personal decision not to wear my wedding band, especially because of what's been happening. And even so, I haven't even put it back on, but I keep like thinking, is that my, is that my fault? Like, do you have to even question me as a female that I don't have my wedding band? So that's how it marks my place in society that I'm a married female. If I've kind of told you I don't want contact with you, I think you should drop it at that point. So it's quite shaky. Anyways, I'm like, walk over. He's like, kind of following me around the store. I go to the craft aisle. I took a couple pictures actually because I was sharing them on the Facebook group. And he like comes over again to me and he's like, are you sure I can't contact you? Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, no, I'm sorry. I'm not, like, I'm not interested. And, uh, and I go to the checkout. So he follows me to the checkout and I'm like, oh my gosh. Oh no, sorry. I went over to another aisle and I found this. This is how it, got, how it goes. I found this just kind of like hanging on the side of, back to the, where the scarves were. I found this like at the beginning of the aisle and I'm like, oh, that's really cute. I've never seen cardigans being sold at Dollarama. So I grab it not seeing a price tag or anything on it and this is my saving grace oh my gosh thank you cardigan <laughs> so I go to the checkout she scans all my things she's going through and I save this for the end actually when I go to the checkout he follows me to the checkout and he makes sure he's like behind me in the checkout and he says oh he looks at me and he's like oh I'm sorry they let me into the store and I was like kind of like you know so I go to the girl and when she's checking it out, I said, oh, I don't know if this is somebody's, if somebody's left it or she couldn't find a price tag on it. Like this didn't have a little price tag or anything on it. And so we were both confused. So she says, oh, let me go check the clothing aisle. So I immediately follow her like a little toddler and I follow her to, and thank you, honestly, to this cashier. She was a young girl. And um, I immediately follow her to back to the clothing aisle and um, we're looking for a card again. We can't find it. So another Dollarama employee was actually walking from the back. We stopped her and we were asking and she says, oh my gosh, another, um, another customer had found those. And she said that they were hanging like scarves. So she went and grabbed them off the thing and she grabs this. I had no idea that these were cardigans, like none. So all the girls were all interested after. <laughs> These are $4 a piece. Anyways, to get back to my story. So I said to the girl, um, and I'm usually like, I mean, I've ran into situations in the past and many times, I mean, as females, we know what happens out there, right? But I was really feeling uncomfortable because once he was behind me in line, I knew he was gonna follow me out to wherever I was in the parking lot in the sense that I just was getting a bad vibe and you have to follow your intuition. So uh, when I follow her to the clothing aisle, I'll quickly like tell her, I'm like, the gentleman behind me in line has been really persistent on trying to get my contact information through the store. And I don't know if there's another man with him because there was like some weird stuff going on in the store that I saw another man walking up and down the aisles, um, back and forth along the back of the store. And so she's like, oh really? And so I said, do you mind just like taking your time looking for the, the price on this thing or however and then the other girl showed up and there was a bit of chatter and thankfully I could see to the front of the store so he had been checked out by the other cashier and as he's leaving the store he's constantly watching like looking back into the aisle and my cashier is like up and down looking for the price on this on this and uh anyways I was so nervous afterwards to leave Dollarama that I didn't even know what to do like I took the stuff you know to get this checked out because I had cashed myself out for the other things closed out the sale and then we went looking for the price for this and then I, I went back and I cashed out the these these items here and I was so nervous to walk out into the parking lot because I didn't know where he was anymore 
and I didn't know if he was going to follow me or whatever. And because he was so persistent in Dollarama and he had made me feel uncomfortable, I don't know. I just don't know what he was thinking. Anyways, thank goodness I drove my ass out of that parking lot as fast as I could and jetted like in and out of a few cars just to see if, you know, if somebody was possibly following that they would have lost me. But my point is, as a female, do we have to have a marking on ourselves that after we clearly state, or no, I don't want to give you my contact information, that we need to talk anymore about if we are in a relationship or not in a relationship. And I know years ago, sorry, I'm venting about this as a totally a personal situation, but I know years ago that there were girls who were buying wedding bands or engagement rings with these little shiny things on their finger just so if they went to a club or a bar men wouldn't you know hit on them or whatever it is but are we not past that like are we not past that in in time like I mean I've I've grown up and that was years ago when we were younger I don't need to I don't feel like I need to tell you that I am married if I've made it very clear anyways that I'm not interested in giving you my contact information um, and then for you to question the legality of that because I'm not wearing a wedding band I was really um, I don't know I was it bothered me and it's like I mean I'm talking about it right now it still bothers me and I feel guilty that I'm not wearing my wedding band um, because a man thinks that he has the right to invade your privacy or your space to try to take you wherever, get your contact information or take you out or whatever it might be. I don't know. I don't feel like I need to be marked to prove that I am married and I have a family. So anyways, I'm, you can probably tell I'm a bit emotional about it because it has, Look, I've been asked for my number in different ways, but this, the way he approached it and the way he like made a point about my wedding band um, really bothered me. Anyways, um, and my wedding band is in a lot of, of my videos anyways, but it's so much easier sometimes during these times, especially with COVID, not to take the risk of me carrying um, metal. They say metal and glass is one of the things that actually carries the virus the longest even compared to cardboard so I'm just doing my part in being safe and here I am being questioned um, even after I've said I'm not interested in providing you my contact information Peek. like anyway I, <laughs> I tried this cardigan on and I'm very thankful that the price tag was not on it because I really 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 strongly feel that there was a reason why I found this hanging in this in the store at that very given time and this wasn't very long ago, so um, I know a lot of you had found this these months ago because when I posted it super excitedly on the Facebook group, a lot of you guys said, oh, that's old news. I'm like, oh my gosh, I look on the, the feed and it's been months that you guys have been finding this. So anyways, um, thanks for listening, but I'm gonna say goodbye and then I'm gonna go off and film my Dollar Tree haul that's actually sitting here waiting for me. Anyways, thank you so much for listening. Until next time, bye everyone.